Namaste. All right, y'all, let's get into it. We have a channel message. I was just getting just now, like, you have rare gifts or rare abilities. Like, whatever you do, nobody could do it the way that you do it. Nobody can bring it the way that you bring it. Nobody has the same energy as you when it comes to this. Many might try to emulate, mock, mimic, whatever this is, right? Your energy, your je ne sais quoi, you just have that, okay? I'm really picking that up. Yeah, the emperor. So your cosmic royalty, whoever you are, your cosmic royalty, your emperor. Okay. Aries energy, Mars energy, whatever it is that you take action, whatever you do, people don't like that shit because you're a boss and you fire succeed them you far succeed them the sun yeah and you do it on your own a lot of your competition they need groups they need pairs they need a bunch of people and it's probably clicks right they probably always in clicks you don't need that type of validation yeah you're going to be successful somebody could be definitely not wanting you to be successful and you're extremely successful at what you do in your life period, there is just success. You're always like waiting on something to just pop off or, you know, good things are always just happening for you, right? <clears throat> yeah. So I'm hearing that there were certain energies that were impatient. And that wanted to block, okay, destiny or fate for you, right? There were energies, right? Who were these energies? Who were these energies? Okay, it could be Cancer energy, Pisces, Scorpio. Like people you were in relationships with. Okay. Try to block you in, in some sort of success that you're having or whatever it is you're doing. It's like they want to interfere. Yeah. It's like you always feel like to these people, you always have to defend yourself. It's the seven of wands. It's like they want you to defend yourself. And it's like you don't want to defend yourself because it's like, You've already won something. You know you already have something. So to compete for it is to say that I don't have it, right? So there's no competition. This could definitely be in connections that you were in at some point. This could be like certain lovers it's like they love you but it's like they know that you're growing so far and expanding past their horizons okay and a lot of them are just using you know they want to use your energy is what i'm hearing you know this is like people wanting to use your energy, manipulate your energy, your love. Okay, this is toxic 
um, relationships and things like that, like opening up. So this is like you could be definitely dealing with um, a wound there in relationships, you know, really get into the bottom of something with somebody getting to the truth. I think you might even see through what somebody has been telling you, right? Yeah, these could definitely be like relationships that you were in with people, like certain uh, courtships here. People wanting to like interfere or block destiny, fate from being what it's going to be, right? Certain energies think that if they watch you or if they try to um, attack you, so to speak, right, that things will work for them in their favor. It's like somebody could be being deceitful and it's like, I'm hearing like secret sneaking rendezvous or something. It's like almost like I'm getting like, you're a rare earth angel and you could be with somebody that's using you for your uh, uh, magic, your abilities, your energy, just like siphoning it from you, you know your power or something like that or using you. You have rare abilities. And it definitely is giving me like a partner. Star. To the higher thing. To the five of swords. Whoever it is is giving you some sort of somebody is giving you some sort of conflict here. I'm definitely getting that, and it's because of who you are. It's like this person can't handle what you bring to the table, or they can't handle who you are, and so they trying to basically they they're settling. They're trying to find somebody to settle for. Is what I'm getting. But this person will never be you, just period. They'll never find another you. That's what I'm hearing. They'll never find another you, the magician to the seven of pentacles. They could search high and low, try to make something work, and it'll still never work. Magician. I'm trying to tell you, somebody, you have rare gifts, rare abilities, just period. Whoever this person that you happen to be in a relationship with, okay, here, is basically saying that they want to siphon your energy or take from what you have because they know that they'll never find anyone like you. So now they have to settle. That's the truth. They, now they got to settle. Yeah, I love this with this karmic. Yep. Cause they'll they'll it'll, they'll never be you. They'll only be just one you. They'll always just be one you. There can never be another you. Like, say if you got a car and this person don't have a car, right? For example. And this person is like, oh, they don't want to have a car, but they will they want you to have a car. Whoever they with, they want this person to, like, have a car, right? So they'll go buy this other person a car so they can have a car, right? And then they won't even... Invest in a self or something like that. Like I'm hearing so much stuff like about this person because it's like they're doing so many things behind the scenes to try to make this other person you and they'll never be you. 
there's only one you. They keep saying that. There's only one you. This person cannot, they cannot replicate. They cannot duplicate. There is just one you. And it's like, no matter how much this person tries to connect with this other person, this person keeps running into that same conclusion. Period. Okay? So they keep running back to you trying to make something work. Yeah, keep trying to rekindle a flame here. This person wants to keep you trapped with them until they can solidify something with someone, someone else. But you have rare gifts and abilities, and this person that you're with, they're siphoning your gifts and abilities, your energy, just period. They're an energy vampire. Anybody that's around you that's not adding on to your energy, they are an energy vampire. Period. There's no other way to sum that up, okay? Because there should be like a, a reciprocation of energy. It should it open flow to where we all just like, it's a vibe. And we all just like, you know, because we all like, and nobody's just, you know, greedily taking anybody's energy, you know, and not willing to put their own into it. You see what I'm saying? So that's where the mix up be in, you know, people in their own ulterior motives, right? Yeah. So this person will be lying to you, telling you like, oh, I'm doing this, oh, I'm doing that. You're not. They're not. Like secret rendezvous and shit, the high priestess. It's like you almost already know. It's like you, you already know something, but it's like you're getting ready to move on. You're being guided away from this person, irregardless, because your rare gifts and abilities, it's like you're, they're telling me to get this deck. Your rare gifts and abilities, whoever that I'm talking to, I'm trying to tell you, I'm going to tell you, whoever you are, your spiritual team is going to lead you a, away from this person, just period, okay? When I say touch on my anointed, understand that in multiple ways, like, and so that's going to mean, like, <laughs> even when you are being a not the best for yourself. You know, you will be guided into calmer and better places because you're anointed, you know. You won't stray too far from your path, you know, because you're anointed. Okay, so. And even in the darkest of darks, wherever you might find yourself, right, you always are able to find the light. Because of your anointing, your rare gifts and abilities. And I say rare because not everybody has this type of anointing on them, right? This is rare, right? Not many people are in touch with themselves this way, right? This is rare. And you don't have to be spiritual. You don't have to be religious. You don't have to believe in anything in particular. It's just your, it's just your energy, okay? And your, your guys are trying to uh, allow you the opportunity to make a decision for yourself because you have free will. But at the same time, you're being guided away from a situation, definitely this person. Okay? And even if it's just to do with, like, work, for a lot of you guys, I'm seeing that this is for a connection. A lover, right? Or whatever it is. Getting away from that relationship. Somebody that you're getting to know. Right? Okay. It's like this person is not being honest. So if this person isn't being honest to you, you could imagine what they're telling this other person, right? How, how dishonest they are to this other person, basically. Ancestral realm. <laughs> okay. 
Didn't I say your guys, your spirit guys? Look, ancestral row. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. Karmic release. Healing the lineage and boundaries. Okay. Many people in your, your past, like your ancestors and shit, could have been going through like the same type of toxic cycles and spells and stuff like that. Like you in a relationship that you find yourself in right now today. Okay. And you are right now clearing that shit from you. Period. Having a karmic release through this ancestral realm here. Okay. <laughs> Creating boundaries between you and somebody else. It's like you almost know which you know exactly that what it is. If you're still in this relationship, I'm trying to I'm I bet any amount of money that you're gauging the best way how to do something. Your best maneuver out. It's like you're too smart for your own good. Is is what I'm hearing. Like you already know how to get out of this situation, how to end this situation. Okay. But like I said, some of you guys might be hard-headed. And so later they're telling me, like, with that Six of Swords, they told me in the Tarot, they were saying that, you know, they may, they may have to guide you, your ancestor, out of a situation, okay? Because you're in this sort of ancestral realm right now, okay? This sort of karmic release, okay? Energy right now, okay? <laughs> oh. The Divine Matrix, Interconnectedness. Synchronicity, God incidences. Okay. It's like <clears throat> somebody could even have this tattoo. But um they just showed me somebody's tattoo. It could even be like a hand tattoo. Okay, um <clears throat> you receive like a lot of downloads, a lot of information and stuff like that. That's how you know that you, you're connected to the most high, your rare abilities. That's how you know. Because you have this sort of interconnectedness and you always had that. You always listened to that. You always know exactly who you are and your birthright. Okay? This relationship is not only just like a test, but it's just really just something that's put in front of you to help you see who you are. Okay? Yeah, look, didn't I tell you this relationship? Look, look what pop out. Damn, look, the camera on froze. Okay, sacral chakra, tenderness, sensuality. So it's like this person, because whoever you're in a relationship with, it's like they can see you loving on yourself and like being more feminine, even to them, or like being more nurturing or like more loving or more supportive. And you could be like a very masculine energy in a relationship, like very masculine. That's why the emperor came out. Because it's like, I could be talking to a feminine too, though. You have always had to protect yourself. You always had to be that in a relationship or in whatever situation that you were in. You always had to protect yourself. And so that masculine energy is your comfort. That is your shield, you know? So that's what it is. That's what they're saying, you know? Right now, you are cleansing that karmic release through your shako chakra right now. In tenderness, you're treating people like, in a more tender way, you're treating, pe treating people in a more loving way, you know, finding your divine feminine energy, you know, um, and it's like a knife to this person that you're in a relationship with. It's cutting this person, it keeps showing them that the more that they try to get with this other person, that they'll never be you, okay? Because when they get with this person, they see, damn, you will never be them and they will never be you. Your energy is so fucking unique. Just period. No matter what they try to get this person in the worldly possessions to try to have like what you have, right? It'll never amount to that. And they can feel that. Okay. Sacred inner space. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's where you are. Let me get one more. Let me get one more of these. The camera froze. Let me see if I can get it on froze. It's frozen. Okay. Yo! I swear to God, they were saying this shit to me. What is this? Melchizedek. This, my bad, y'all. They had fucking said this, like, what the fuck? Okay, I got, now I gotta look this shit up now at this point. This is the second time this shit came through. 
Order of Melchizedek. Y'all got that card. Okay. Order of Melchizedek. Okay. Order of Melchizedek. Embraced by light. Mission uncovered. Don't give up. See, that's what I said. You're realizing like who you are and your rare gifts and your abilities. They're telling you don't give up. Order of Melchizedek. It's like you found something. You uncovered something. You being embraced by the fucking light right now. Like on some real shit and having a lot of success because of it. All right. On some real shit. And this is just in your regular, regular ass fucking life. Like what the fuck? Because you're amazing. You are being embraced by the light, embraced by the most high. All right? On some real shit. I don't feel like you have to do anything when it comes to this connection. I feel like somebody might, like I said, just feel like they'll never find nobody like you. But it's like they'll just have to settle. This person could be trying to step out with somebody else because they're going to have to settle. When you leave them, because it's like they know that you're going to leave. Whoever this person is, they're looking for another person that you're with, right? They're looking for another person because they know that you will come to your, your senses and leave them. Period. Just period. Okay? And because of that, they, have to, they know they're going to have to find somebody else. And like I said, they're going to be settling. And they know that. Okay? Perseverance. Somebody is mad at, at your perseverance in this relationship, in this courtship. The fact that no matter how they, the injustice that they might serve you or do to you, it's like you're too connected. Your inner connectedness shows up as God instances. And they're like, damn, this person got all this karmic release and doing all of this, you know, work on themselves and shit, embraced by the light. Like, what the fuck? They know. That they'll never find nothing like you. Just period. Your per your level of perseverance. Just period here. Look, loneliness. This person is trying to... That you're in a relationship with. They're going outside of the relationship. Because inside, they, they are truly lonely. When you are working with God, you know you're never alone. And this person feels lonely because they're not walking with the most high. You see what I'm saying? When you of the world, that's how it feels. You're not embraced by the light because you of the world. And the world is dark. It's dim. Without the light. Right? Okay? This person is lonely. So like I said, despite whatever they're trying to look for in, in whoever the arms of this other person, you know, It'll, it'll never bring them, there we are, it'll never bring them true balance, it'll never bring them true happiness, it'll never bring them what they thought that it would bring them, period, okay, grief, yeah, this person like misses you, and you could be in a relationship with this person, but they know that losing you is an opportunity to appreciate you. They're going to appreciate you more when you leave. Just period. When you walk away. Look, denial. Right now they're in denial. Discipline. They In reverse. They don't have discipline. They know that they don't have this discipline. They know that they lack this shit. This person wants all the things of the world but doesn't have any discipline. This person regrets treating you this way. This person is stuck in between you and another person in indecision, okay? You are in acceptance. This person is in worry, all right? Do you understand, like, how this person is feeling? Like, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Patience, okay? Earth angel, patience. Whoever I'm talking to, all right? Let's get some more tarot messages. Let's see what's coming up. Let 
bahan gitu. It's like maybe, you know, you're going to this where now you're like being to yourself. You know, you want to be to yourself. You want to be left alone. You know, you need to be to yourself. You could also be grieving this person with this hermit energy. Like missing their energy. Not their energy, but just missing the attachment when we have, you know, relationships with other people. We, we build attachments all right and so this could just be you missing that person but you know that this person um is like never gonna get it i just heard that song involved never gonna get it never gonna get it never gonna get it never gonna get it they're never gonna get it 26 22 never fucking gonna get it <laughs> Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. <laughs> Fucking never. What? Never. Never get it. Oh. Yeah. The thing is, is even though this, you're what this person wanted. I'm gonna be real with you. In this courtship, you're what this person asked for. You what this person is really working for in a in a relationship, despite them trying to go out and whatever, whatever the fuck they're doing. Okay, you are that, but this person doesn't know how to be mature. Didn't I tell you they ain't never gonna get it? They're immature. They gotta grow up. They don't want to grow up. You could be somebody that's in the public spotlight too, and they could be like. This person feels lonely, like, ever since you went in the public spotlight or ever since you started getting, like, recognition or some sort of fame or some sort of acknowledgement, it made this person feel lonely, like, they're, they don't matter or something anymore. Somebody is really immature. This period. Somebody is extremely immature because it's like, this person is, it's like, they're like heartbroken over your success. Yeah, four fucking pinnacles. It's like somebody could be this person too. They could like whoever this person is. It's like they could always be like trying to compare your life to them, even while you're in a relationship with them. It's like they're always comparing you to them. Like, well, when I get mine, or when I'm gonna do mine like this, like. You know, type of relationship. Very unhealthy. I get very unhealthy. Yeah, four swords. This person needs to fucking have several seats. I'm just saying. temperance your earth angel i told you you're earth angel and that's the thing now you can come out of this masculine i feel like energy and kind of not have to depend on that so much like there's moderation the temperance is saying like you know now you could be more balanced in you know the way that you're persevering the devil and the four of wands some of you guys live with somebody. somebody. Some of you guys, they're saying like, it's okay to move on or move forward in a situation. I'm getting. If you feel like your home situation, your home life, like that's going to get better. If you were wondering about that, that's going to change and it's going to get better. Let me get one of these. 
I really see that. Okay. Yeah, look at this. As I say that, the fish. I see abundance coming towards you. What else do I see? Yeah, I see you in, like, alignment right now. I see, like, you really, like, clearing your, this karmic, having this karmic release. So, I see things coming in for you. Now, ships are selling in towards you. Things are coming towards you. Some of you guys were waiting on a judgment or an answer from, like, a big company or corporation or just something big to happen. And that is, okay, home. Didn't I say somebody's home, your living situation? You're worried about that? You're worried about that. That's getting ready to change. That's getting ready to change. Because you're getting ready to have more abundance than you all you've ever had. Okay? Literally because of this order of Malchesdic. So don't give up, they said. Okay? That's just period. Let me get one more of these. False person and sudden motherfucking wealth. Didn't I fucking tell you? Somebody is a false person. Somebody could be definitely trying to be like you. But they're not the real thing. So whoever this person they trying to make be like you or mimic you is not working. Because they're showing up to the world as the not real. Not you. They don't have the Midas touch, baby. They don't. Tip, okay. And this false person is being revealed because of that. All right. So, that's what I got. Love you, guys.